Where are we going? To Lachrun, thank you. Yeah. So right now we're walking to the summit, to the junction to get the bus. And from there, hopefully we'll figure out where to get off once we get the bus and get to the tank museum. Yeah. See you later. This is the American made M10 tank destroyer. Said there. Look, it has a um, a uh, machine gun with a tripod, a bipod. Yeah, this is a GBMG, and this one is a Browning M2 heavy machine gun. Yeah, but that one's mounted on. This one's not. This one is powerful. This is scary. It's a shovel. A Soviet made. Amphibious BTR-50 ABCs were taken by the IDF from Egyptian and Syrian forces during the Six Day War in 1967 and Yom Kippur War 1973 wars. We could go on water and land. Look at all these tanks. I want to poke some of these in my truck. The black military license plate. It looks like some people are climbing up on the tanks so they can take a picture. There's half of a tank, and here's the other half. So you can see the inside. It's pretty small. Here's the gunner. There's a half track armored personnel carrier. M2 half track. APC used by the U.S. Army during World War II during the Israeli War in the Pensa. There's a helicopter. The War of Independence, 1948. Tank is so cute. It's like a Mini Cooper version of a tank. The armored corpse then and now from 1948 is what they used. And now, in 2012, look how different things look. How much bigger they got. I was told that these chains and balls underneath here, underneath the turret, the tank, protect the bullet. You know, protects the tank from bullets as it flies. It gets stuck in here. So it doesn't hit the turnstile and jam the tank. Seems pretty clever to me. Main battle tank, Merkava MK2. Here's a wall of names. Long wall. Filled with names of people who are killed. Then the wife.